Hi, Pete here, back with another video. This tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to add categories on your archive pages. So, um, yeah, so, so right now we have our filter, we have our, our, prod, uh, our posts, and we have our order bar. So let's, uh, let's just uh, filter this out so it just shows all the products, like all the cars. <laughs> So if you've been following this, this series, you'll know that this isn't specific just for cars, but here we go. Uh, so in the theme builder, let's, um, I prefer, I, would, I much prefer this layout to be honest, but we can add, we can go back for you if you want. So here I like to add a category loop. So the category loop module is the module that, that shows you all the categories that are available so at the moment because we're on the archive page it's going to show me all the categories now the categories are when we in cars categories here we can see all our categories so here I have like four four in the convertible seven in the coupe zero in the estate so you see because there's zero in the estate it's not going to show you can make it show if you want and I'll show you how in a minute so let's just first off go down, skip the first few settings and just go down to grid columns. Here you can change the columns. At the moment it's three, so I think it'll look better if we did four because we have four that are available. Um, you know, you can change the tablet and you can change the mobile. You can hide or show the description. So where you get the description is in, say, convertible. You add the description here and you can show or hide that if you want. Because I have no description, it isn't really showing it for me, so that's fine. I don't really want the description on my site. You can order it by name or category order. You can hide empty categories, which is by default, or you can show them all. So here I can show all the categories, but I want to hide them. Okay, so that is kind of the very, very basic... Uh, version of this so what i'll do is i'll just save it and reload this page so you can see now when somebody clicks on convertible it'll take them just to the convertible cars we haven't set well we haven't set up this template yet so it still looks like the default one but let's go back okay now what happens if we want an image let's say we want to have an image for each of these category items how do we do that well we're going to be using advanced custom fields for this as well Go to Advanced Custom Fields and add a new field group. In the new field group, I want to add Cars Category. And here are all the fields I want to be adding for this. Add a new field. Image. Field type is Image. Okay. Now I think it is Post Taxonomy is equal to. Okay, no, that's not it. Uh, taxonomy is equal to yeah so sorry I just had a little bit of a mind blank there so what you want to choose is go down to taxonomy is equal to and then choose your category so at the moment because we're using cars it'll be cars category but if you're building a um, the house listing website or a documentation website or a team members website it'll obviously be called something different so we have an image let's publish this and then head over to our cars categories in our convertible we'll see this new option over here which says image here we can add an image so let's add a convertible doesn't really matter I'm going to add this white one update what other cars we have we have Coupe. Oh, sorry. Go to Coupe. Go to open that in a new tab. Saloon and SUV. So SUV. I think I have this Range Rover over here. Update that. Go over to the Coupe. Um, I don't know. Let's find a blue one. That isn't actually a Coupe. Uh, this one, that one, 
and saloon. Here's that one. I mean, I may have it wrong, but whatever. So if you reload the page, nothing's going to show. It's still going to show these normal category names. Let's go. Uh, let's reload the page. Reload our theme builder. Go back into our archive page. And in here, we want to uh, in this module, going to edit it. And in there, we want to have a category image name. So if you want to have an image, we need to choose the advanced custom field that we've used. And here you can see, as you go to the bottom, it says image and it gives you cars category. So you know this is the one that you choose. So here we go. I want to choose that. And here it pulls in the cars. Title on top of image or I want to have title below image. Those are the options now. We'll add some more options in the future. But that's that's really how you do it. And um, yeah, it's pr pretty easy, pretty straightforward. This module it really helps you to make it easier for the you know. So now they're on this page and they can say, "Oh, actually, I want to go to SUVs." Now the beauty of this though is you can actually use icons as well. So I'm just going to pull in a while we're here. I'm just going to pull in a uh, let me just, sorry, I'm just going to pause this quickly. Okay, so I'll just I'll pause that just to put an icon. So what you can also do if you really want to get adventurous with your designs is in your categories, you, know, you can go actually for SUV, instead of having an image, I want to have an icon. And I can just show and get this icon, put it in. I mean, I probably wouldn't choose this one for myself personally. And then there you can have an icon and you could also, you know, play with the size. I'm just going to do this in love with, you know, I don't know, 50 pixels. So there, so you could have a nice little row of all your different, you know, nice representation rather than images of the different categories. If you click on that, it'll take you through to the SUV page. Okay, so that is how you add uh, categories or well, categories to your archive page so we have our search once you search through you have your um, categories I'm actually going to change that back because it looks a bit odd by itself but if I was going to you know if it was me going to be creating the site and, I, and at the end of the um, at the end of the series I'm going to be actually finalizing the site and I think I'm going to actually use icons for that at that stage Okay, so thanks very much for watching this video and I hope it's been helpful and we'll see you in the next one.